Hello, my name is Bruce Sawalski. I'm author of Canadian Wilderness Survival and chief instructor of the Boreal Wilderness Institute. For the last 25 years, I've been out here teaching full-time wilderness survival in the, wild in the wilderness of Canada. What I'd like to talk to, about, to you about today is about backup or redundant gear. And often people don't like the term redundant, so they use backup or contingency or whatever. But I like the word redundant because one of the meanings of re redundant is if you say it twice, it's important. So something we talk about carrying twice, that's really important gear. Something that's life-saving gear. If there's something that's three times that we're gonna carry, that's even more important. Now, in the world of the military, in SER, or S-E-R-E, -E, they often use a, 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 a mnemonic called PACE, which is Primary Alternative Contingency Emergency. And that makes sense. When you talk about navigation gear, I could list that stuff. And that would make sense all the way down into the military and my emergency button compass. But in the world of survival, we generally have primary. So here's my moral pro C, and I might have a backup, which in this case is um, a multi-tool. Now the idea there is I carry something because this isn't going to wear out or break or do anything else. It's very unlikely. And if I really got down to emergencies, then I would have to wander out in the forest and improvise some tool to replace this knife, which would be very hard. But, you know, I, I might be able to do that, depending on where I am. In terms of fire lighting gear, though, pace actually makes complete sense. And why does it make sense? It's because those tools that are for fire lighting are going to continually wear out and run out. So what's my primary? Well, my primary is my lighter, even though it's gonna run out. And the reason it's my primary is I wanna use it first. What's it backed up with? So what is the alternative? Well, there's my Strike Anywhere matches, 20 of them inside a waterproof container with some tinder. And what's my contingency? Well, there's my contingency, my good, high quality striker. And so what happens in an emergency? Well, in emergency, I go back to being a bushcraft instructor and I look around the forest and see what I can actually create. But that's going to be incredibly hard and I'm risking my life in the same way that using my silver compass to do a bearing is so much better and so much more efficient than the useless bearing I can take with a button compass. I can barely go in a cardinal direction with that. And that's the same problem. So do we carry backup? Yeah. We carry backup for everything that's going to wear out. And yeah, you can use pace, but you're gonna end up with a lot of gear. And in some areas where it's that primary reason you're there for navigation in the wilderness so you don't get lost, pace makes a lot of sense. When it comes to carrying good high quality knives, a backup maybe, or a backup among a group of people, right? It's like we're paddling. I don't have four alternatives for my paddle. I have my primary paddle and I have my backup paddle. That's how it works. I have an emergency paddle only because I'm a bushcraft instructor and if I still had my knife and my saw, I could wander out into the wilderness and make a paddle in a day or two. And the paddle would be all right. Wouldn't be a great paddle, but it would work, right? That's what emergencies are for. That's what emergency gear is for not for my primary use. I'm not going to paddle through the Canadian wilderness using an improvised wooden paddle. That'd be crappy. I'll use it if I have no other choice. But I think in terms of primary and backup. And when we look at the gear that we're gonna carry with us, think of it that way. I like redundant. I don't mind saying that, hey, I want three redundancies for fire lighting. I want two redundancies for my clothing and my knives. So what kind of clothing wears out? Well, here's a classic example, gloves. Gloves are gonna get wet, they're gonna get sogged, they are going to wear out because they're on a constant surface with the environment around us. Just like I carry, instead of a backup knife, I carry sharpening equipment to keep my carbon steel knife razor sharp. That is something I carry with me because it's worth having. When it comes to fire lighting, yeah, then pace works. 
primary, alternative, contingency, emergency. I have that all. And in a long enough trip, the emergency stuff isn't what I can improvise in the wilderness. It's my fire lighting kit that's in my backpack. Because I carry that kind of stuff because it's important. So I hope you like this little look at backup and redundant gear. And I hope you have a chance to follow me on uh, YouTube and listen to some of the videos that I have or all of the videos that I have up and get an idea of the depth of knowledge we can learn. There is a huge amount of information that's behind me in this forest. And it's behind me in this forest because it's part of the wilderness. Enjoy your summer, stay safe, and hopefully I will have a chance to talk to you guys all later.